Okay, let's talk about how to graph this equation. So we have 2x plus 4y equals 12. Uh, this is an equation of a line, okay, also known as a linear equation. And the objective here is how do we graph this, right? So we want to take this equation and graph it on the xy plane. So I'm going to show you how to do that step by step. But before we get going here, let me go ahead and introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. And uh, over many, many years, I've constructed many, many online math classes. If you want to check out my full math help program and all my courses, you can uh, do so by clicking the link in the description of this video. Also, if you want to pick up a set of math notes, uh, you'll find uh, uh, links to algebra notes, pre-algebra notes, geometry notes, algebra 2 trig notes, etc. underneath this video and in the description. All right, so let's go ahead and approach this problem. This is something that you would definitely need to know at like the pre-algebra level and above. So graphing lines uh, and linear equations is extremely important and uh, you certainly have to do it, know how to do it. And uh, let's get into how we would approach this problem. So the good news is there's not one um, way to do this problem. Now there's, when you have more experience, there's definitely um, better ways to do this problem, but we have a couple different options. So the first thing we can do, all right, when you're dealing with a line here, okay, trying to solve it is to create a table of values. So that would be a little like XY table like so, okay? So hopefully your teacher has taught you about a table of values. So you can always construct a table of values. And these, when we do a table of values, what we're doing is we're finding points, specific x, y points that are on uh, this particular line. Now remember, if I have one point and another point, then I can graph the line. So all I really truly need is two points to graph the line. Now, another way we can approach uh, this problem is to rewrite it in y equals mx plus B form, okay? So we would have to shuffle things around and do some uh, algebra uh, stuff here, but we could rewrite this in uh, Y equals MX plus B form, which is a great um, format to uh, graph lines. It's a very um, a direct approach to graphing lines once a line is written in this format. However, you can see that this is not, this line is not in this format. It would have to be exactly Y equals Everything, you know, we don't have a y equals, we have 2x plus 4y equals something. So that's another option. We can definitely fix this up to be into this particular format. But we have another option, and it's effectively like the table option, but we call this the xy intercept option, okay? And it's effectively, again, like a table, but we're going to be figuring out this table when x is 0 and y is 0. We'll find the x and y intercepts where this line would uh, cross through on both the x intercept and a y intercept. So, this is probably the most direct uh, path, okay, to graph this line, right? So, when you have a line written in standard form, which this line is in, in other words, it's not in y equals mx plus b form, when it's written in standard form, in other words, it's a number, a nice integer value uh, in front of the x plus or minus another integer value in front of the y equals another nice whole number, something like basically like this format. Then taking the x, y uh, intercept path is generally the best way to go. All right, so let's go ahead and see how that works. Again, I can um, use these other techniques, but um, and you need to know how to use the other techniques, but we're, the whole objective of this video is just let's just graph this line correctly step by step. Okay, so how does this work? Well, let me go ahead and just uh, write this a little bit neater over here. All right, so the x, y intercept method is just this table. I like to teach it like this. You're going to make a table value. You're going to put a zero there and a zero here. X for zero and y for zero. And then we, what we have to do is just do a little bit of algebra and let me show you this uh, works and then we'll um, have our two points and we can plot uh, this line all right so here what we want to do first on this first row okay of this uh, table is we want to plug in zero for x okay we want to plug in zero for x and solve for y 
That's what this means here, okay? So let's go ahead and do that first. So when x is 0, what is y? Well, let's go ahead and plug in 0 for x. Okay, we always use parentheses. And when we do that, actually, let me give myself a little more room. So 2 times 0 plus 4y equals 12. 2 times 0 is, of course, 0. Okay, so that just all goes away. So really, we're left with the uh, equation 4y is equal to 12. I can divide both sides equation by 4, and I get y is equal to 3. Okay, so when x was 0, y was 3, so I'm going to plug in a 3 right there. Okay, now what that means is that the point 0, 3 is on our line. Okay, it's on our line. And all we need is two points, but we'll get back to that in a second. All right, okay, so uh, we uh, plugged in uh, 0 for x and we got a y. Now we want to do the exact same thing, but this time we're going to plug in 0 for y and get our x. Okay, so let's do that now. Okay, so that's going to be 2x plus 4. So we're going to plug in the 0 for y, and we want to get x is equal to 12. Again, 4 times 0 is just going to be 0. So this equation here is just going to be really 2x is equal to 12. And then I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by 2. And I get x is equal to 6. All right, so when y was 0, okay, x turned out to be 6. So uh, by using our um, this technique, I've uh, constructed to, or I found two points okay, that are on this line. The points 0, 3 okay, and 6, 0. 0, 3 and 6, 0. So let's bring this down here. 0, 3. All right, 0, 3 and 6, 0. 0, and again, our equation was 2x plus 4y equals 12. 2x plus 4y is equal to 12. All right, so again, 0, 3, and 6, 0, we found using our uh, table values. This is referred to as finding the x and y intercepts. And you're going to see here in a second why they're referred to as such. So... Let's go down here and plot these, okay? So let's plot 0, 3. Remember, these coordinates are always x, y ordered pairs. So the first uh, value here is x, and the second value is y. So 0, 3 is x is 0, okay? x is 0, y is 3. 1, 2, 3, okay? That's the point 0, 3. Now, let me ask you, is that the x-intercept or y-intercept? Well, that's the y-intercept, okay? This is the point uh, where the line is crossing through the y-axis, okay? So this is the y-intercept, all right? So, of course, here, 6, 0 must be the x-intercept. Uh, so this is where x is 6 and y is 0. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So somewhere around right there. So this is 6, 0. And, of course, that is the point where the line is crossing through the x-intercept. And at this uh, stage of the problem, all we need to do is be nice and neat about it, but we need to kind of just sketch our little line through. Whoops, I could do a little bit better than that. All right, that's a little bit better. Okay, so there is our line, okay? And this is the line 2x plus 4y equals 12. Now, um, so we're done, right? So we... Uh, evaluated this line, we looked at our options, okay, and we took the most direct path to graph this line using x, y intercepts. Now, you could have uh, uh, rewrote this in terms of y equals mx plus b form, and when you've done, or when you did that, all right, you would have different points, maybe this, this point would be the same, but you would have a different uh, uh, point that would be on your line. Okay, so again, you just need two points that are on uh, the line to graph it. Okay, sometimes when you're, you know, using different techniques, you end up with different points, but nevertheless, it's still uh, correct, all right? So the main idea here is you need to know how to graph these linear equations using both uh, uh, x, y-intercepts. Uh, this is called the slope-intercept form, 
and just in general a table of values, okay? Because you, sometimes you want to, you know, use the most efficient path uh, to go forward on these problems. But um, again, this was a nice opportunity just to review the um, working with X, Y intercepts and table of values. All right, so um, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider smashing that like button. Also, if you're new to my YouTube channel um, and you like my math instruction, I have hundreds and hundreds of videos on my channel. I'm posting new stuff all the time, so hopefully you, uh, you'll consider subscribing. Again, if you really want to see my full, complete instruction uh, in my math programs and full courses, you can check out that well, I found the link in the description. And then again, if you need to pair math notes to couple the great math notes you're taking in class, uh, you can find the link to those as well uh, beneath this video and in, in the description. All right, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.